Some revolutions don't begin with fireworks, they begin with frames per second. For decades, the heartbeat of gaming pulsed through one name, NVIDIA. The GeForce 256, launched in 1999, was more than a chip. It was a portal. It transformed low-resolution pixels into rich, immersive worlds. Every battlefield in Call of Duty, every explosion in Cyberpunk 2077, every shimmer of light in Minecraft, NVIDIA was the unseen magician pulling the strings. Gamers worshipped it. Developers relied on it. And yet, what no one realized was that NVIDIA had been building an arsenal for a war far beyond gaming. A war for the future of human intelligence. You see, behind the neon glow of GPU cards was something deeper. Parallel computing. The ability to split complex tasks into thousands of micro-calculations, executed all at once. It was perfect for games, but even more perfect for something humanity wasn't ready for – artificial intelligence. And while the world obsessed over frame rates and ray tracing, NVIDIA quietly began pivoting. They built CUDA, a programming model that allowed their chips to think differently, not just to render images, but to learn. In 2012, the world blinked at a little-known image recognition contest, an experimental neural network called AlexNet, powered by NVIDIA GPUs, didn't just win, it obliterated the competition. Suddenly, researchers across the world realized the future of AI wouldn't be written in CPU code. It would be trained on GPUs. And only one company had them. Fast forward a decade and NVIDIA's gamble has gone supernova. The AI revolution led by ChatGPT, Midjourney, Dolly, Google Gemini, and others isn't running on magic. It's running on NVIDIA, on A100 chips, on H100S, on server boards that cost $200,000 zero cents and ship not one by one but in racks of eight. Microsoft trained ChatGPT on 10,000 NVIDIA chips. Amazon, Meta, Tesla, Google, they're all hoarding them like gold. This isn't a chip shortage. It's a digital gold rush, and NVIDIA owns the mine. But what happens when one company controls the infrastructure of human intelligence? NVIDIA is no longer just a graphics company. It is the foundation of AI, of robotics, of self-driving cars, of cloud computing. Every Amazon package delivered by a warehouse robot, NVIDIA. Every Mercedes vehicle with lane assist or self naget vehicle, NVIDIA. Every real-time simulation of a wind turbine farm? NVIDIA. The company's chips power not just games, but genomics, weather modeling, autonomous weapons, and quantum research. And what powers NVIDIA? That's the dangerous part. Almost every NVIDIA chip is made by TSMC in Taiwan, one island, one fabrication company, one flashpoint away from geopolitical chaos. If China invades Taiwan, if war erupts, if a single TSMC fab goes offline, the entire AI ecosystem could vanish overnight. One chip, one company, one vulnerable thread holding together the fabric of the future. The US knows it, that's why the $52 billion Zero Cents Chips Act is reshaping American policy. TSMC is building fabs in Arizona. NVIDIA is diversifying. But time is short and stakes are rising. Because AI isn't just a tool now, it's an arms race. And NVIDIA is holding the blueprint. Yet for all its dominance, NVIDIA has faced demons. It nearly went bankrupt building the GeForce 256. It failed in smartphones with Tegra. It had to abandon its $40 billion zero cents bid for ARM. It's battled fluctuating crypto cycles, price crashes, and political scrutiny. But again and again, the leather-clad immigrant CEO, with the voice of a professor and the will of a prizefighter, steered the ship back into deeper, bolder waters. In many ways, Huang is Steve Jobs if Jobs had stayed longer, failed harder, and aimed wider. He didn't just invent new chips. He rewired the company's DNA. NVIDIA became the only company brave enough to bet it all on AI long before anyone else cared. For years, investors mocked them. Wall Street valued their AI division at zero. Now, 
NVIDIA is one of the top 10 most valuable companies on Earth. And still, they're not done. Enter the Omniverse, a breathtakingly ambitious simulation of the real world, powered by NVIDIA GPUs, built for industries from aerospace to architecture, digital twins of entire cities, physics-accurate replications of warehouses, factories, road networks, a living simulation of Earth, where AI trains in perfect digital replicas before ever touching reality. A testing ground for autonomous cars, delivery drones, supply chains, and eventually even governments. NVIDIA doesn't just want to render worlds anymore, they want to simulate reality. So what does the future look like? Imagine this, an AI-designed drug saves a child in record time, an autonomous vehicle trained on trillions of virtual miles drives you through a city designed inside the Omniverse. A video game renders light and weather patterns in real time using ray tracing and generative AI. A film is created without actors or cameras, just NVIDIA's chips. A company simulates climate change a thousand years into the future, all powered by the same core. NVIDIA GPUs. The world has changed, and most people haven't even noticed. Because revolutions no longer come with marching boots and megaphones. They come with software updates, with neural nets, with server racks humming quietly in the dark. And at the heart of that silence is Nevia final call to action. This isn't just a tech story. It's a story of power, of risk, of a company that outlived giants and outplayed fate. The world is being rewritten, not in ink, but in code. And behind that code is a chip, one chip, billions of neurons, a single company powering the next evolution of humanity. If you think the AI revolution is about apps and filters, think again. This is the beginning of a new world order, and NVIDIA is holding the motherboard. So hit subscribe, stay locked in, because when the next great leap arrives, it won't be announced by politicians or prophets, it'll come as a whisper from a chip, and it'll change everything.